trust me, he said. Believe in our lord of infection and pestilence, he said. Wait. Didn't we meet once in Somerset? I can't believe I prayed to Periad for help, and he blessed me with your familiar face. He usually only blesses me with abundant pus. Everything is wrong. My friend Martina entered this flu-ridden city to recruit followers for Periite, but he hasn't returned. I fear the diseased beasts inside have devoured him like a massive scab. Please tell me you can help. Look for his belongings. He's always dropping things because of his numbing hand fungus. I would do it myself if it weren't for my responsibilities. If he's dead, someone has to carry on our sacred duties. What do you say? Will you rescue Martina? You will! Oh, bless you, brave hero! May Periad rot your teeth and cover your face in scabies! To show the people the sickening power of Periite and bring more followers into the fold. Martina and I want to find a way to prove that Periite is responsible for the flu outbreak in Orcrest. The abject terror will really help with word of mouth. Everything! My scalp is itchy, my bowels are irritable, my feet are caked in creamy fungus. Periite has blessed me in so many ways. I want everyone to experience his sickening glory. Wandering Tamriel to spread the good word of Periite, along with various ailments. When we heard about the flu in Orcrest, we ran here as fast as our mucus-filled lungs would allow. A proper pandemic is just what we needed to prove Periite's power.
Another stranger. Hopefully you aren't obsessed with mucus like the last one. Unfortunately, he kept yelling about the virtues of skin rashes and hugging the infected zombies, so we locked him in a cage. If you bring us some supplies, we'll consider setting him free. In the meantime, talk to that rambling cult. Talk to that rambling cultist if you must. Just be careful he doesn't cough on you. A merchant hired us to escort his wagon into Orcrest. When the flu broke out and the fire started, he panicked and got himself killed. We hid in a room and used his supplies to survive, but that's no way to live. Besides, these two talk too much. I remember you from Somerset. Periite must have sent you. I have to find proof that Periite is responsible for the flu, or at least something that can be misconstrued as proof. Gather accounts of the flu and I'll join you. If not, I'll stay right here and die in my own filth, just like Periite intended. When I was healthy and normal, no one noticed me. One day, I was afflicted with an exquisite sickness, and the entire town fawned over my deathbed. I survived, but found my true calling as an ambassador for illness. I owe my sick life to Periite. Last of them. Oh, thank feck. Circle around.
Roll if you can! Work with me here! You're watching. Did you find food, water, and healing supplies? Fragrant! If that crazy cultist had half a brain, he would worship you instead of Periite. Here's the key to the cage. Go free him so we can find a way out of this stinking city. Did you find proof that Periite caused the flu in Orkrest? Unlock this cage so we can spread his distasteful teachings. I'll meet you outside of the city. Periite willing, we'll catch the flu on the way. We're ready. Let's get out of the city before it kills us. Let's go. We can talk when we're outside of the city walls.
Our hero arrives. We owe you our lives, friend. More importantly, you've done a great service for Perryhite. Thank you, friend. Without your supplies and knowledge, we would never have made it out of Orcrest. We owe you our lives. These cultists hired us to protect them on their misguided missionary journeys. I think they're planning to convert us to their lost cause, but that's unlikely, since we're going to rob them blind before we reach the next town. Thank you, friend. I owe you a drink next time we meet. I think I might just sit here and watch Orcrest burn. I always hated this city. Thank you for helping us, Rook. I didn't want to die in that filthy city. I'll follow Darava wherever she goes, as long as she lets me. Don't tell her I said that. I'm playing hard to get. Thank you for saving Martina. May Periad bless you with a parcel of plague-soaked pillows. Thank you for helping me escape, Orcrest. I don't think Filbert could have found more followers for Periite without me. Honestly, he probably would have just stood in this exact same place until Vultures pecked his eyes out. He's not that smart. I'll use the accounts of the flu you found to make non-believers think Periite was responsible for the flu in Orcrest. People really respect Daedric princes who can decimate an entire populace. Do you believe in the power of Periite? Fantastic! Let me know when you're ready to become an official follower. All you need to do is constantly praise Periite and contract a terrible illness. I'll be more than happy to cough on you. For now, please accept this gift. <coughs> Thank you again for finding accounts of the flu outbreak in Orcrest. I can easily twist their words to make it seem like Periite was responsible. Because he was responsible. Probably. Maybe. All that matters is recruiting new followers, alright? Let me know if you ever want to travel with us, spreading the word of Periite. You won't have to worry about food because people are always throwing lettuce at us. Besides, you'd be surprised what you can find dying on the side of the road. <laughs>